helping the smallest patients have exceptional lives. An experienced team working together to treat patients from birth to 18 years. A team that lends its expertise to helping the young overcome obstacles and finding a future. The future is now bright for 12-year-old Isaac. He has worked hard for years on skills many people take for granted, and it's paying off. But his life didn't start out so easily. Let your fingers open up, grab a hold of it, and pull. Isaac has been in the pediatric rehabilitation program at Spartanburg Medical Center for most of his life. The day he was born, he started having seizures. His parents were stunned to hear that things had gone wrong even before birth. Found out the next day that he'd suffered two strokes while in utero, and they were bilateral, and had caused an extensive amount of brain damage. Um, at six weeks old, he was diagnosed with cerebral palsy because the damage was long-term at that point. Um, he came home with a diagnosis that was very bleak. At discharge from the intensive care unit, they told us he probably would not walk, talk, feed himself. He would never sit up. Um, he would not dress himself. And that heartbreak is gut-wrenching. It's, a, it's a, a pain that nobody knows unless they've, they've been there and they've sat there. But the Edens decided this challenge was a blessing in disguise and wasted no time starting Isaac on what would be years of physical, speech, and occupational therapy. Some friends had told us about what a great therapy program was here at Regional. So at four months old, Isaac started therapy here. Pediatric rehabilitation is where children come to receive physical, occupational, speech, language, and pathology services. Youngsters from birth to 21 years old with developmental disabilities receive highly specialized treatment. We offer about 18 specialized pediatric services across the three disciplines. Many of them carry special certifications that our parents seek out on national websites. The top diagnoses treated in the pediatric rehabilitation program are autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, developmental delays, and genetic disorders. Because every child is different, a plan of care is developed specifically for that child. Goals are based on developmental levels. So we help children learn how to walk, how to talk, how to grasp things. So we help them meet those developmental milestones uh, that they need uh, to get them closer to the typical age. The Edens would need those specialized services, not just for Isaac, but also for their daughter, Rachel. Now 20 months old, she was born prematurely. We see a lot of develop the development of milestones. So, you know, with with Rachel, for instance, um, you know, we started with her when she was barely sitting, and now she's walking and we're working on stairs. Occupational therapy offered at this center helps children develop fine motor skills, such as using the hands for simple tasks that most of us take for granted. Uh, so as an occupational therapist, I'll find out what is it that has happened to an individual that has stopped them from being able to take part in those things. It could be anything from dressing, you know, a lot of uh, occupational therapists will work with uh, individuals' ability to dress themselves. It could be uh, cooking for it with adults. It could be preparing a snack for a child. Uh, so the dressing is a big component of it. Uh, a lot of times it's a lot of verbal prompts. And I'll say, Isaac, make sure you use your right hand. Get this other hand up there. And you might even have to remind them by touching it. Speech therapy is another critical discipline that helps infants and children learn to breathe, swallow, and speak. We work on a variety of things um, that will actually help individuals from birth all the way to adulthood, including, you know, not just limited to articulation and also understanding language, but also their ability to project and use their voice, so voice disorders. With Isaac, we've also worked on feeding and his swallowing, getting him to be able to accept, chew, and swallow a variety of taste and textures and colors without him actually gagging or choking on them. For Isaac, the hard work is resulting in hope for many future goals, more than anyone might have imagined the day he was born. If, if God didn't give me the strength to handle it, I don't know if I could handle it again today. It was just one of those kinds of things. And then now, 12 years later, we're watching him and we're actually talking about colleges. 
Isaac and Rachel Edens are just two of the many success stories in the Pediatric Rehabilitation Program at Spartanburg Medical Center. The therapy team performs about 1,500 inpatient and outpatient treatments every month. Each child is pushed to the limits of his or her unique abilities. There's so many things that he was said that he's not going to do that we're seeing him do now. And it's amazing to see him on track. He's, he's, he's a grade level in, in all of his school activities and school subjects. And so the, the future looks bright for him. And I believe uh, it's a great deal due to the therapy that we receive here, getting him on track. To be 12 years later from that, Isaac just celebrated his 12th birthday at Thanksgiving. And um, to look back where we've come, it's just unbelievable. You know, used to we didn't know what the future holds and now we know the sky's the limit. We know when it works whenever we have a child come in who was nonverbal and they walk out the door. They, they may have been here several years. Our kids are typically here several years for treatment, but when they walk out the door speaking in phrases and sentences, they can start school. They can be in a regular classroom. They have hope of going to college uh, because they can communicate that is success. And that's what keeps us going as therapists. That's the drive. This is a place of miracles, giving children a chance, a future, with a caring, compassionate, and highly trained staff. The Pediatric Rehabilitation Program at Spartanburg Medical Center.